please help me welcome Michael Abbott, the SVP of the uh, WebOS team at Palm. Thank you. Thank you. First slide. So at CES, Palm unveiled the, the Palm Pre, running WebOS. Now, some of you may be wondering why I'm here and not at CTIA. Well, one of the key reasons is to talk to you, the developer community, about WebOS and why we feel that it's presenting a transformative change for how mobile platforms are going to be built. I want to first run through with you a couple highlights of WebOS that we went through at CES and how they relate to you as, as a developer. One of the first things we talked about were cards, which is a metaphor we've developed for multitasking on a device. The, each card is an activity that the user can use simple gestures to tr traverse between, rearrange, as well as dismiss. For you as a developer, what this means is you can have many applications running, and you can have background applications running. And then we talked a little bit about Palm Synergy. This is about the fact that you have data in many different online communities. You may have data in Facebook, you may have data at Yahoo. And what Synergy is about is bringing all that data together in a single location. Again, this is actually a very large transformation for mobile platforms where we're moving from being very application-centric to being very data-centric. And you as a developer have access and can plug in your services into this platform. And notifications. WebOS has a notification manager where a user can stay up to date with their online communities without being disrupted with their existing activity. And again, as you as a developer, you have access to those notifications. All these technologies that we've talked about to date have all been based on web-based technologies. Now, if we kind of step back in time, we can see that HTML initially defined static layouts. Over time, we had more dynamic applications built with AJAX. And then with HTML5, we can, we can support applications that can run offline. What we've done is taken that next step on the mobile platform. On the WebOS platform, each application is built with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS, and runs natively on the platform. What that means is it doesn't require a server to run, and it can run in a disconnected mode. We've effectively taken these desktop, te te desktop technologies and are running them on a mobile device. If we look at a little more detail about what a WebOS application looks like, we can see that we have standard HTML to define the layout of a card, effectively a web page. We have some JavaScript, which can define an animation or a transition, but also may access data that's on a device, as well as hardware services, as an example, location or the accelerometer. And in this particular case, we're accessing location. Then we use CSS to lay out the application in a beautiful way. All these applications that we've actually demoed to date, for example, at CES, are built with a framework that's a part of our SDK. And all the core applications are using that same framework to be built. Now, not every service, though, certainly lives on the device. There's many services that are cloud-based. And we see there's several different types of, of cloud services. The first set are third-party web services. So as an example, at Google, we can integrate with Gtalk, and we can integrate presence into messaging. But that's not enough. We can integrate, integrate presence into email and contacts. And we look at Facebook. We can integrate contacts, certainly, to bring your photo in, but we can embed that photo in mail as well as incoming, incoming caller ID. Now, WebOS is more than just about software running on the device. It spans both the device as well as the cloud. And as we've been actually going and building our own applications, we've seen the need to develop some several cloud services ourselves. And based on some of the feedback that we've gotten from developers, we see that there's some value in exposing some of these services to you. The first service that we're going to be launching along these lines is the Mojo Messaging Service. This provides a simple XMPP-based PubSub framework where you can send events or push events into applications in real time that are running on WebOS. Why is this interesting? Well, let's say, for example, if you're a developer and you want to build an application 
around the fact that I want to target a particular set of users in an area because there's traffic congestions, and I want those folks to know about that, you as a developer can build such an application. Now, much like other aspects of our SDK, we're very interested in getting feedback from you and understanding how we need to evolve this. Now, this initial service is going to come out in beta. It's going to be certainly limited in scope as we go and learn to make sure that we're delivering what you need. So again, why is Palm here? Palm is here because the web as a platform is coming now to the mobile environment. And specifically, we want to actually expose this environment that we've developed to you, the developers, and to get feedback from you. So with that, what we want to do today is to provide an early access program to the SDK at developer.palm.com. And what you will get are a set of tools for emulation, debugging. You will get that framework that our core applications are built with, as well as documentation and support. Now, initially, we're going to launch this in a very limited fashion, so we can actually incorporate your feedback and expand it over time. And also, very importantly, afterwards, we are hosting a cocktail reception out in the hall in the back. There's a number of folks from the Palm team here that we can answer more questions about the WebOS platform and how we can get feedback from you and incorporate that into what we're actually doing. Thank you. Thank you.